So after the banking crisis last month in the US, whereby we saw a couple of banks like you know, Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank collapsing and the market started to sell off, we have seen most of the Singapore banks, DBS, OCBC and even UOB rebounded since that incident. And most of them rebounded quite a fair bit, more than 5 6%. But over the past two to three weeks, it seems like we are seeing a little bit of obstacle, some profit taking is happening and what is the direction right now. Hey guys, Joey here, Top Tier Miser Trader in Philips Securities. And in this video, we'll dive into the three Singapore banks. Now, these are pretty much the three banks that most of my clients have in their portfolio. I get asked quite often on as well. Let's see if there are any changes into some of the levels, in terms of the support, in terms of the trend and all that. Let's dive into each of these banks, DBS, UOB, and even OCBC to see where we are and if there are any opportunities on dips, all right, on weakness over the next few weeks. Let's go. Alright, so here is DBS trading at about $32.96. So about three weeks back, one month back, I did a video whereby we saw quite a good rebound in DBS. You can see right over here, we sold off pretty badly to near $31, right, when the US bank, you know, started to collapse. And we rebounded quite firmly all the way up to this firm resistance level. That level is none other than the 33 level. Since like over the past two to three weeks, we are still not able to get above that level. We have attempted a few times to, to break above and stay above, but unfortunately, sellers came back and pushed it back down. So that $33 would still be a very key resistance level for now, right? If you want to see more upside, we definitely want to get above that level. And also, I've mentioned previously as well, this 33 level, look at this right here. This was also kind of like the support we have seen um, last year. It was kind of like the support level. You can see when we broke up, we traded all the way up and now we retested and retested it again, all right? So it was a support level turn resistance which we are still kept below. So 33 level, that is the level to watch for DBS. We definitely want to break that level firmly on some bullish price actions coming back near there. That would be a positive. What about the support level for DBS? Well, I would say that, you know, since about two, three weeks back, um, we have not really like sold back all the way down, you know, back to like 31, whereby we uh, kind of hit it to when the whole uh, banking crisis happened. We didn't really you know, sell back down. So that's a good thing, right? We kind of like sold down a little bit and buyers started to come back to bargain hunt. So not really like 31, I think 31 level would be a little bit too low, all right? That is uh, pretty much where we were last month after the crisis. And I would say over the past one or two weeks, there are some support that's coming out right over here, somewhere near 32 to 32.50. Right over here, you can see we are kind of like consolidating right here in this range, 32 support all the way to $33. I think that is pretty much the $1 range for DBS, right? So let's take a look at the trend, right? In terms of the short term trend. Well, you can see that the 20 days moving average line, this green line, look at this green line right here. So this green line, you can see that it was like moving up, up, up all the way until in February. And then of course we had the, like the banking crisis started to happen. You see this green line started to point down. So this is like the short term 20 days moving average. So it's pointing down and prices below it, you see the green line point down, 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 and so all the way down, like from like 35 all the way to like 31, right? And this green line now, over the past like two weeks, you can see that this green line, the 20 days moving average, it is not really pointing down, correct? I mean, I would say that it is kind of like a little bit sideways. It was like down, 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 and now it's like a little bit sideways. So it can kind of like point towards a sideways consolidation in the short term. Let me see the next two to three weeks. That is pretty much the range, as I mentioned, the $1 range, 32 to 33. That is pretty much the range based on this short term moving average as well. And also based on the prices that I talk about, the swing ups and down, we are in that $1 range. So let's see, right? Let's see if you can break the 33. If great, if you can break 33, I think upside targets can be reiterated all the way up to maybe back towards that 35 level. You can see that was pretty much where we will somewhere in February before we broke down and sold all the way down. So potentially that could become like the upside whereby some selling can actually come back again. So this is DBS right now trading about 32.92. Okay, OCBC trading at about $12.60. So, you know, just about three weeks back to a month, you know, when we broke this uh, support level at the $12.50, I mentioned that there could be more downside and that was when the whole banking crisis happened, right? And we kind of like headed towards that next support level that would be that 
twelve dollars to kind of like eleven ninety. I mentioned that's where some bargain hunting can come back again. You can check the previous video, right? So that's why I mentioned that you know there could be opportunities to get in on deep. So you have gone in there, great. All right, we indeed saw quite a good rebound all the way up, and we broke back above that same twelve fifty. And you see, right now we are still above. 1250 so that's a good thing at least we are consolidating at a higher level we didn't actually go back to that you know 12 dollars or you know level that we were last month after the crisis we are consolidating at a higher level so that's a good thing right but the key thing is that over the past two to three weeks it seems like we have found a little bit of selling pressure coming back near that $13, I think somewhere around like $12.90 to $13. In fact, I kind of like expected it to uh, push up a little bit all the way up to that previous high, which is kind of like the resistance level, somewhere around that $13 to $13.20. I think that is where potentially some selling can come back. Okay, so we kind of like hit it near there, all right, near there, and some profit taking is happening. You see, today we kind of like sold off and we are about 12 point six one so a little bit of weakness in the short term i would say for now maybe all the way back to that 1250 right 1250 level so i think for ocbc right now as long as we stay above 1250 you can see that was where we were holding we, we went above it and if we stay above 1250 i think it's still okay but just let's assume that if we do break that 1250 so 1250 is key i think i, I talked about it many times well because before this whole banking crisis and all that you can see that last year look at this right one two uh, three four five six uh, you know right over here we broke up you can see that 1250 1260 level that has been pretty much the resistance for most part of last year all right and obviously now it is the support level so that 1250 has a significant uh, meaning to it all right because it touched a lot of times and now we are kind of like you know seeing it as a support level so if it stays above 1250 great we might just consolidate from 1250 to 13 dollars that is kind of like the, the range but just be careful if that 1250 were to break down in the short term well if that happens then unfortunately we might see what happened uh you know just like the banking crisis happened in March, you might just kind of like, you know, sell a little bit back towards the $12 to eleven ninety dollars again. All right, so just take note of this level, the twelve fifty. let's see if that can hold over the next few days or next one or two weeks. All right, guys, if you like this video, I appreciate it. you can give me an early thumbs up. That would definitely help out the channel. And thank you so much for doing this. And of course, smash the subscribe button as well if you have not done so, so that you will not miss out on any new videos that we post like this, talking about some stuff, talking about some trainings as well. I hope that you find them useful. All right, so let's move on to the next stock and that would be UOB, right? The final bank I'd like to talk about today. And this is UOB trading at about 29.41, right? $29.41. So, you know, just about, you know, three weeks back to a month, last month, same thing. We sort of, you can see most of the bank, the pattern are about the same. We sort of last month, they rebounded and then they move a little bit sideways. All right, so this is UOB, you can see last month, we can't approach this $28 support level. It was like the resistance, resistance. Look at this, the support, support. So this $28, I think I talked about it many times. It is a very, very key level. It's a very key level, right? Just like the $12.50 level for OCBC. Same thing, this is now 28 for UOB, whereby, you know, it is pretty much a good support for now, or right? because it was like the resistance for most part of last year. All right, so you can see we are kind of like above this 29. So over the past, I would say two to three weeks, it seems like $29, right? $29 has came out as a bit of a support, all right? Also where the 200 days moving average line is, right? So you can see we are kind of like heading back towards uh, 29. Now it's like 29.41. So hopefully we stay, you know, near or above $29. If that happens, great. I think it might just consolidate from like 29 to $30, $30, $20, I think over the past like two weeks, we are seeing a bit of selling near $30, $20, $30, $30, all right? So yeah, anything near $30, I think that's where some selling can come back again. So in the short term, you can see that this 20 days moving average line, you can see that it is kind of like, you know, going down, 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 flattening out, it's moving up, but right now it's like moving sideways as well with prices kind of like below it. So not a good thing in the short term, the, the fact that we sold off the past few days and we went below 29.50 as well. So yeah, I think support wise is $29. That is the level to watch. If this gives way, the $29 gives way, like what we saw, you know, last month after the, the, the banking crisis, right? Yeah, then unfortunately we might head back towards that same $28, which would be a much more attractive opportunity. But the point is, I don't know whether you'll head back to uh, $28 for you to buy it, right? Nobody knows, right? So you might just go to $29 and then you might see uh, it consolidate a little bit and it might start to rebound back towards that $30, right? So I hope I can give you an idea of what are some of the key levels to watch for UOB as well.
All right, guys, there we have it. So I've covered the three Singapore banks that I get asked quite often on, and I would say most of my clients have the three Singapore banks, DBS, OCBC, and UOB in their portfolio, all right? And it's quite popular stocks, right? So I don't want to just do it again every few weeks so that you guys uh, know what's happening, any changes to the levels in terms of the trend and all that. I hope you guys have a much clearer picture, all right? So if you are not yet a client of mine in Philip Securities, uh, that's where we do share some of those ideas, not just on the banks, but you know some other stocks whereby they have the potential to push higher. And that's where we do share some of those ideas by WhatsApp daily, right? So if you're not yet a client of mine in Singapore, you are trading online on your own, you log in, you buy, you sell, you have no idea who your broker is, no ideas, no service, no video, no training, nothing, then you might want to come on board as a client of mine for absolutely free. I mean, it's pretty much the same as whatever you're paying when you're trading, right? There's no difference at all, right? No, most people don't know that, but there's no additional charge whatsoever. Uh, that's where you get some of our ideas for free, all right, uh, daily as well. So yeah, I'll probably put the link around this video to find a bit more. So if you have not yet a client of mine, click on the link around this video and uh, to find out more and um, I'll speak with you once the account is already, my team will be able to assist you much closer, right? If you're already a client of mine, you're watching this video, great. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, reach out to us if you have any uh, questions on your account, my team will be pleased to assist as well. Thank you so much for watching. Joey here. Take care.